Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when haptic feedback and adaptive triggers is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now, for me, I have to plug in the controller using the USB cable and then it's working. And I think it's not supported wirelessly for now. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is not supported. For me, it's not working and maybe for you also it's not working. But even with the wired connection, if it's not working, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to disable or enable the Steam input. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the controller tab and then select disable Steam input and then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can enable Steam input and then check which one is working fine for you. But make sure that you restart the game. Now still facing the problem, next step is to disable Steam input and then connect the controller using the USB cable and then restart the game. Now for this, go to properties and then go to the controller tab and then disable steam input. Now connect your controller using the USB cable and then restart the game and then check. Next step is to disable steam input once again. So make a right click, select properties again, controller tab, disable steam input and then open control panel and make sure controller is enabled in sound control panel. So type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to hardware and sound and then click on sound over here. And over here you will see your controller. So over here you can see your controller. Here you can see DualSense wireless controller. Make a right click on the controller and enable your controller. In my case, it is already enabled. So if you see enable, instead of disable, you will see the enable option if it is disabled. So enable it. Now once you enable it, make a right click and then click on configure speaker. Now in my case, quadraphonics. So select it and you will see all those four speaker over here. And then click on next over here and then Put a check on the box which says front, left and right, surround speaker. Make sure both are checked and then click on next. Now click on finish. Now you can launch the game and then check. But make sure that your controller is connected using the USB cable. So you have to use the wired connection and then launch the game and then check. The next step is to unplug these devices. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, disconnect all the external devices which you're not using. If you have any kind of USB adapter or dongle connected, disconnect it. If you have extra controller connected, sometimes you have extra controller connected, disconnect it. If you have arcade stick connected to the computer, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any virtual controller like Vizo, etc., you can disable it or you can uninstall it and then launch the game and then check. Now the last step is to launch the Steam in big picture mode with Steam input enable or disable. So you can try both. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to controller, select disable Steam input and then on the top right here you can see enter big picture mode icon, click on it, go to big picture mode and then you can launch the game from there. If that does not work, you can even try to enable Steam input and then, then click on enter big picture mode. Now once the steam is in big picture mode, now you can launch the game from here and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.